the vehicle was already in motion. He was not able to determine who was in the vehicle. And he just fired us. Police say he blindly fired his weapon, killing a 22-year-old Atlanta man. Breaking news tonight. An arrest warrant has been issued for the former Atlanta police officer who shot and killed an unarmed man last month. Now, James Burns was fired after an internal affairs investigation determined he used excessive force and was not justified when he shot 22-year-old Devaris Crane Rogers. Burns has since appealed his dismissal. Well, Fox Size Marissa Mitchell joins us now live from outside the Fulton County Jail with these breaking developments. Marissa. Well, Burns also faces aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and two counts of violation of oath in the death of 22-year-old Derevis Rogers. Now, an internal police department review determined Burns was not justified when he shot the 22-year-old last month. Burns claimed Rogers was a suspect in a car break-in at an apartment complex. Authorities say Burns shot Rogers in the head when he tried to escape. Fulton County DA Paul Howard says no one described Rogers to Burns as a threat when he responded to the scene. Howard goes on to say the off-duty officer who first reported the incident did not identify Rogers as a suspect. A short time ago, we spoke with Rogers' father. Here's his reaction to this development tonight. I think that this is, this is a great day in the movement toward justice. I'm thankful that Chief Turner and his staff at the APD move so fast. Now, Burns will go before a Fulton County grand jury for indictment in August. And coming up on Fox 5 News Edge at 11, you'll hear more from Roger's father as well as information from that police review. But that's the latest here at the Fulton County Jail. Marissa Mitchell, Fox 5 News.